Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Sid, a.k.a. Vicious274, and I'm back from Rendezvous 10. What an amazing time it was. It was a much better than the first one that I went to. Um, I've got so much stuff that I've got to show you from what I got there. Um, I also got a lot of shout-outs that I want to do to people that I've met that uh, really made me feel at home. And... Um, you know what, I'm going to start off with that. Um, the shout-outs that I want to do first are to Mike, Alan, and Eric um, for first hosting the event and their hospitality. Um, they made me feel at home, and um, I know they're going to be friends of mine for a long time now. And uh, I look forward to seeing them again at future rendezvous or maybe just coming by for a visit. Um, other people that I met that were super cool was, uh, again, Martin Ehrenberger, or er er a.k.a. Ernie. Um, Super amazing guy, very nice. I've met him before and I saw him again. We were happy to see each other. And uh, we had some good talking, uh, good fingerboarding, good filming, and it was a lot of fun. Um, another person that I met was Martin Winkler. Um, he's just as crazy and wacky as he is in his videos. Very funny guy, very tall too. I wasn't expecting him to be that tall. Um, and he threw me a whole bunch of stuff that I'm going to show you later, and also a very, very cool, down-to-earth guy. Um, also, Drake Elliott. Uh, finally met Drake. He's a really cool guy. Really enjoyed meeting with him and fingerboarding with him as well. Other people that I met were uh, Sam Maroney, um, Timo Lieben, the maker of Berlin Woods. Now, that guy is hilarious, and also very big, very tall. Um, it was very cool meeting him for the first time. Um, we had a lot of uh, conversations, laughed a lot, again, fingerboarded a lot, so it was a lot of fun meeting him as well. Um, Thomas Hansen, good seeing you again, buddy. Um, Ed Garner, uh, Joel Harnett, uh, Will Liska, Chris Kraft, um, Boris Drex Dietschy, I hope I said that your last name right. But uh, speaking of Boris, it was the first time I met him, and uh, we had a pretty... Pretty uh, interesting conversation, but uh, needless to say, at the end of the conversation, he p pretty much turned to me and said, um, you know what, Sid, just keep doing what you do no matter what anybody says, always be yourself. And um, that really meant a lot to me, and um, I do what I do because I like doing it for fun, and he noticed that. Oh, and he also told me that his mom likes uh, watching my videos, so mom, if you're watching... Hello! <laughs> but yeah, it was really cool talking with Boris. He's a super down-to-earth guy, and I uh, hope to meet him again real soon. Uh, there was also Julian Klein, John Atanasio, uh, Ben Gordon, Jay Linen, super cool dude, uh, Taylor Rosenbauer. He's an, also the nicest guy I've ever met. Um, always has a smile on his face. Um, Chris Daniels, my 80s music kid. Oh, that guy was hilarious, man. Just to give you guys an example, I didn't get it on, on, uh, on video, but there was uh, one time he was just playing all kinds of 80s music, and it was driving everybody crazy. But I kept running back into the room and giving him the name of the artist and the song title, and he was just floored, and he just kept playing them over and over and over again. So, way to go, Chris. <laughs> um... Oliver Blankenberg, this guy was crazy for laser tag, and he finally convinced me to go play laser tag, and it was so much fun. Thanks for making me go, Oliver, and it was super cool meeting him. He's a very, very uh, excited guy and um, loves his Jersey Shore. Fist pumping. <laughs> um, Doug Bodkin, cool meeting him as well. Um, Chris Diso, Harold Schoen again, met him before, I saw him again. Really cool seeing you again, buddy. Um, Ethan Ebling, finally got a chance to meet Ethan, very cool dude, those gauges, nice buddy. Um, oh, I also can't forget um, Conrad and Alessandro. So um, those are all the guys that I met. Um, thank you again for making me feel at home. It feels like we've been friends for the longest time. And um, I know that um, I've now made uh, a lot more new friends and I hope to see you all real soon. But everybody else that I met at the rendezvous, there were so many names, and I didn't, unfortunately, I didn't write everybody's name down. But to all of you that came up to me and said hi, or asked for my autograph, or asked for me to take your picture, or asked me questions about when my next video is, when my next review is, all of you that came up to say hi, I don't forget, I didn't forget you. I want to say it was cool meeting all of you, and I hope to see you guys again real soon at the next rendezvous. I'm not sure which one I'm going to be going to, if it's going to be 11 or 12, but I'll definitely let you guys know. 
Um, now, into getting uh, into what it was that I actually got at the rendezvous. Well, the first thing you could see is my flat face spot graphic shirt. I also bought an Assy Berlin fingerboarding shirt, but when I got back to my brother-in-law's house, he said that he wanted me to get him a shirt, and um, so I left it with him. He said it was just like a little gift for him to remember to remember me by, because I only get to see him like once a year. And um, I also, speaking of shirts, um, in my last week, in my last video that I posted before I left, I showed you a shirt that Wrist Films made for me. Well, they threw me a couple more shirts, and I'm not going to show you them because I'm going to save them for a giveaway. So it's going to be a surprise to see what the shirts look like. And uh, that will be for a future giveaway. don't know when I'm going to be giving away, but stay tuned and you'll see. Um, what else did I get here? Well, let, let's start with the stickers. Uh, Martin Winkler pulled me aside and said he knows that I love stickers, so he's just started throwing me all kinds. There's some bonsais, some Winkler wheels. Then I got the mini, the mini Black Rivers, the mini Berlin Woods, and he just kept throwing stuff at me, and I was like, this is nuts. He gave me some of these stickers. They're um, United Skateboard Artists. There's these ones, those, these pink ones, and then some blue ones right there. Very cool. But it doesn't stop there. He also gave me some Fingerboarder Magazine stickers, and these are really cool. The Catapults. Really love those. Um, well, oh, yeah, he also gave me the large Berlin wood and these Rasta Berlin woods. <laughs> he, he knew that I really liked stickers. He also threw me some pieces of rip tape. I believe there's about five sheets here. Very cool for that. Thank you very much, Martin. But the coolest thing that he gave me was, uh, oh, there's also a, a finger deck sticker there. He gave me a set of the D-Rex edition bearing wheels. Now he said that he made these for when they were um, uh, for Tech Deck wheels, but now he makes all of his wheels BRR editions. But I mean, Winkler wheels are Winkler wheels. You can't go wrong with them. So Martin, thank you so much for those. I really appreciate that. And another thing that he gave me was this finger, finger board. And you'll see here, it says made specially for Martin Winkler. And the reason why it was made specially for him is because of the graphic. And he told me the story behind this graphic. He said they put this graphic on here because it looks kind of like him. And he goes, you know how I have my pointy nose, my pointy uh, chin. And if you look at it, it kind of does look like Martin Winkler. <laughs> so thanks again for the, uh, so much for that, Martin. I really appreciate it. Um, oh, also, Drake gave me some of his eminent stickers. Oh, there it is. Got a whole bunch of those, so thanks for that, Drake. Um, I also got the flashback DVD. Um, Hero Asian Man, aka Jeff, made that for me. That's his tag right up there, so that was really cool. Uh, I also got some stickers from Barry Wood, and they threw me some some tuning. He said the company's closing, so he just wanted to give me that. Um, another another kid came up to me. I'm sorry, I don't remember your name, but if this is you, he gave me this complete. He says he makes them. He says, get steezy today. These are fingerdex.com clear bearing wheels. And uh, he just wanted to give it to me. He goes, here, I want you to have this. So thank you so much, man. Um, I also got another deck from somebody that unfortunately I can't remember their name, but the company I believe is Lakewood. And he says, I just want you to have this deck. Do whatever you want with it. Uh, set it up. Uh, give it away. Trade it. So thank you so much for that. And then I met the owner of Owood, and he gave me a deck here. I believe it's a 29 and a half millimeter. It's got an amazing bottom ply. He asked me to review, review that, so you can expect a review in the future. Also, I got one from Culture. Nice purple bottom ply. And a super cool dude as well. He also asked me to review that, so you can expect a Culture fingerboards review in the future. I met Miles from Creekwood, one of the nicest guys, again, always had a smile on his face, and he threw me some of his um, his grip tape and asked me to review it, so I'll be doing that in the future as well. Again, Miles, thank you so much, really cool guy. And um, I also got my flat face G13. It's got red plies. Red and natural plies and this sick bottom blue 
apply. Can't wait to set that up and try it out. You can also expect a review of that in the future. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, yes! The big item. Um, I actually, it is so big that I had to film it separately. So, um, actually, I'll just post it right now so you guys can check it out. Isn't that freaking nuts? The guys that made that park are the same guys that made the t-shirts for me. Um, I believe their channel is Riss Films, R-I-S Films. And um, when I posted the video of the uh, the t-shirts, they said that they were going to have a surprise for me at the rendezvous. So I was just expecting a couple more shirts so I could maybe do a giveaway. But no, they made that park and gave it to me for free. So I, I, I couldn't believe it. I had to ask them over and over and over again to make sure that they were... <laughs> that it was true, that they were, it wasn't a joke, and um, they said, no, that's for you, so, um, guys, I can't thank you enough, um, I still haven't found a location in my house to set it up, but uh, I'm definitely going to be setting up that park somewhere in my house, and I'll be doing a couple minis on there, and uh, hopefully you guys will be able to... Um, to let me know what, because I know the footage in, in the back of my car wasn't too great of, of the park, but hopefully with future footage you guys will be able to see the, the park in better detail and uh, let me know how it is. Um, so again, that's pretty much everything that I received from uh, Flatface. Again, everybody that I met, it was super cool meeting everybody. Um, hopefully we can all meet again in the future, and if you haven't been to a rendezvous yet, hopefully you guys can make it. It is an amazing time. Um, the, even the parents that I met there were so cool. I met this one guy from uh, Vancouver. I believe his name was Brian. He actually makes skate parks, like real life skate parks. Uh, I believe his company was uh, New Line Skate Parks. Amazing, amazing guy. Um, but again, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, going to future events and uh, hopefully meeting again everybody real soon. All right, so that's uh, pretty much everything that I got. Thank you for every to everybody who gave me stuff to review or just gave me freebies. I really appreciate it. You can expect reviews on some of the stuff that I got. And um, yeah, had a blast. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to do it again real soon. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Keep fingerboarding. Two fingers. Peace.